in our previous class we had seen how to populate the table component with the help of data what is available in adp kind of variables in this class we will learn how to populate the table with the help of sdp now in order to do that first of all i will delete this table component you can select over here right click and delete or else you can just come to this structure from here also you can delete now here i will delete with the help of design view So it has deleted the table component for us. Now again I will drop the table component afresh over here. So once you drop the table, we will have a quick start method over here. Click on this add data. I am going to populate the table with the employee data what we had seen in our previous class that is populating with the help of ADP. Now I am going to populate first name, email address, last name and the manager suppose on click of any row if you are creating any events then it is always a good practice to hold the values over here in the row data later point of time also we can modify like how i had explained in the case of select single classes wherein in order to update this row data what and all values will be hold it in this record when the user clicks on any row this we can modify with the help of sdp's type under variables so these things we can modify later as well click on next and click on finish as you can see once we tab out the details will be populated the problem with sdp is it will make a call every time wherever the sdp variables are made use suppose if you are making a use of sdp over here same sdp variable you can make use in the lov as well you don't have to create again and again the sdp variables because it will increase the overhead and increase the cost as well as it will consume lot of resources in order to access and get the same data repeatedly so it is always a good practice to use adp wherever possible so with the help of adp we can control how many times we can make a call to backend so here also if you are using the same set of data try to give the same sdp variable in lov table and other places as well so in this class we had seen how to populate the table data with the help of service data provider or SDP.